Welcome to this WordPress video on using negative margins for your page layouts to improve design. To get started, I just put in a template kit from the Spectra plugin. This is just the Gutenberg Astra theme with the Spectra plugin. Insert this template with this button. And then we'll see we have a bunch of containers that hold all of the content. First container is pretty standard. Second container is offset. It goes up into the other container by uh, like 100 pixels. So what's going on here is um, once I close down these uh, sidebars, you can see it a little better. So to find out what the heck is happening, we're going to take a look at this container and then go to style spacing and you'll see right here the margin is using a percentage unit and it's going up seven percent so the margin is negative seven the margin normally starts at the end of the last container and if it was a positive margin it would push the content down from the top but since we use the negative margin it's going to go up kind of connect the two spaces the next example that I wanted to show, so these next few blocks, these next containers are, um, they don't have any negative margins. And then the, this one is the one that I designed to do a sideways negative margin. Originally, it looks something like this, so that when I view the page, let's just say I update it, and then um, I view the page. You'll see this is how it was when you first installed the template. And this is what the new one looks like. So how did we get it to look so much nicer in this one here? Let's take a look. So you do pretty much the same thing as the top down one, but it's a little bit more complicated look at the containers here get the large container for the box and you'll see that it contains two containers that are side to side according to this this containers layout specifies um, under the flex properties that it's going left to right the image container is the one that we want to give a negative margin to so we go over to style spacing and you'll see I gave it a negative margin of negative 50 pixels. I unlinked it, gave it negative 50, not too far. If you do it further, you, you're gonna have to increase the padding on this one. And then you'll see it's hiding behind this green box, but the way you get a preview is you just click the second container and for some reason, it then puts it up front. When you actually do this and you save it and, and look at it, it's still going to be behind there so you need to tell uh the theme to put this above it and you do that with the uh the z index so we take this container again we go to advanced z index and you just raise it above this one either usually two or three will work um these these can get as large as you want and then um so if you want something like on the very top, sometimes developers use large numbers, but I just try and go as high as I need to. So I made a Z index of three and that's pretty much it. Um, to make this green box larger, I added a second paragraph. So that made this green box with its padding much larger because when you look at this green container, it was given a bunch of padding top and bottom. So that made the green box much larger once I put in this paragraph. And then the, the image is just the size that it is that you get within uh, the template. So you can look and see at the image, see what size it is and what size image they used. And then the reason that it's sitting halfway between the top and the bottom is because the original container has the flex box uh, 
it has the flex properties of being um, centered vertically so that's why this is sitting in the middle here and the content is going to be in the middle and um, and now it's going to be over a little bit so let's update that view the page and you'll see we have the image over 50 pixels and then the last thing you want to do is make sure that it looks okay on um, like mobile and the other settings so what you would want to do is go back to um, the container you care about uh, let's switch to mobile mode see what it looks like you'll see this image is off a little bit so we go to that container and this time we go to the back to the um, spacing margins give them all a uh, zero margin now it's back to uh, centered update that and that's it for negative margins on this sort of uh, getting started with negative margins. I hope you found it helpful. See you next time.